Hello YouTube. So our president in South Africa has just made the announcement that South Africa would now be in a 21 days lockdown from Thursday 26 March midnight until 16 April. This period may be extended if the virus has not been contained during this time. Now South Africa initially had 60 odd cases we're currently standing on 402 cases, and this is now a national disaster for us. I do salute my president and the members of cabinet, members of the private sector, and also members of the business sector who has really been involved the last four days in making these decisions, coming up with very good um, solutions and I would say good remedies financially to assist our country during this time. Also remember that South Africa is currently in a technical recession. This thing is really, really going to hit our country very, very hard. I'm really concerned about the people in the rural areas. I'm concerned about small businesses and SMEs who are really going to be feeling the pressure of this 21 day lockdown the hardest. I'm also very sad for people that are in the hospitals, elderly people, uh, people in facilities who can't look after themselves. And I really, really want to salute the medical staff and first responder teams who will be out in the field working to make sure that our country does not get further infected. infected. Now, the category, categories that our president said would be exempted are health workers, emergency personnel, security services, production and distribution, essential banking services, power, laboratory services, hygiene services. People will not be allowed to move unless buying food and medical supplies. The JSE would not be affected as trading continues. Malls and clothing stores would be closed. Um, those who can operate remotely must do so. Defence force deployed to help police public health management program to perform screening, initial focus on high density and high risk areas, centralized treatment for severe cases, decentralized treatment for mild cases, resident arriving from high risk countries will face quarantine of 14 days, international flights from land Syria will be suspended, international travelers will be turned away. In this time it's very important for us to make sure that we follow the orders of the president and the cabinet to the letter. It is very, very important for us to make sure that we self-isolate and that we hunker in and keep ourselves safe. It is also very important for us to make sure that we don't contaminate any other people to let this virus spread any further. The saddest part of this is that people who are in hospitals and people who are in rural areas who do not have the money that some other people do for medical services will probably feel this the worst. Now, what our president also said amazed me, and I really, really have great respect for the country for doing this in coming to financial aid to most of these people who will not be able to afford the things that we in a better position would be able to afford. The banks have also come up with a debt relief system. They've also cut the repo rate. And there are a lot of things that are on the positive side, although our country is in a recession. So I really think that everybody in South Africa, yes, we are in a state of emergency, but don't panic. I think if we stand together as a nation now, I said it yesterday in my other video, we should not panic. We could stand together. We can make this happen. Our president has made a speech tonight that almost put me in tears because why our country for the first time that I can remember since I was a little kid is taking hands and we are standing together as a united nation. YouTube, we're looking forward to uh, hearing your points of view. If anyone else is still in lockdown, if anyone else is still in self-isolation, leave your comments down below and please give us a shout out for South Africa, the nation who can make this together.